A pleasant day to everyone. I am here today to give you another information about speech. Last time we talked about how to develop ideas, find sources, and adapt structure. Now we are going to talk about the three key points in speech, and that is the structure and development of the steps in the motivated sequence, applying the motivated sequence, and beginning and ending the speech. Are you ready? Let's get started. Now, the structure and development of the steps in the motivated sequence. First is the attention. Captures the audience's attention with a compelling introduction. Use a hook, questions, or surprising fact to engage them. Second, need. Establish the need or problem. Clearly articulate why the audience should care about the topic. Highlight the gap between the current situation and the desired one. Third, satisfaction. Present a solution to the identified problem. Provide a clear, effective solution that addresses the audience needs and concerns. Visualization. Help the audience visualize the positive outcome of adopting your solution. Paint a vivid picture of these benefits, making it tangible and relatable. And lastly, action. Call to action. Clearly state that what action you want the audience to take, it could be adopting the solution, supporting a cause, or any specific behavior you desire. These steps guide speaker in crafting persuasive messages by appealing to the audience's emotion and logic, aiming for more impactful and memorable presentation. Let's move on to the second key points of speech, applying the motivated sequence. When applying the motivated sequence, consider the following example for a persuasive speech on the importance of recycling. In the attention, Begin with a startling statistic or a thought-provoking question about the escalating environmental challenges. For an instant, did you know that millions of tons of plastic end up in our ocean each year, posing a grave threat to marine life? Establish the need for recycling about outlining the environmental impact of excessive waste. Discuss pollution, resource depletion, and the urgency to address this issue. Convey the gravity to the problem to evoke concern. In the satisfaction, introduce recycling as a valuable solution. Detailing how recycling conserves resources, reduces pollution, and contributes to a sustainable future. Showcase success stories or statistics about communities benefiting from robust recycling program. In the visualization, help the audience visualize the positive outcomes of recycling. Paint a picture of cleaner oceans, reduce landfills, and a healthier planet. Use images or anecdotes that resonate emotionally, making the benefits tangible. The action. Conclude with a clear call to action. Encourage the audience to adopt recycling habits. Participate in community cleanup events or support initiatives promoting sustainable practices. Provide specific steps in emphasizing their role in creating positive change. By following this motivated sequence, you structure your speech to capture attention. Establish the need, propose a solution, create a vivid image of positive outcomes, and motivate the audience to take action. Now let's move forward to the third key points of making a speech. It is beginning and ending the speech. Start your speech with a captivating introduction to immediately engage your audience. Consider using hook. Begin with a powerful quote a compelling question, or a surprising fact related to your topic. For instance, imagine a world where our daily choices can shape the future of our planet. Anecdote. 
share a relevant and relatable story that connects with your message. Let me take you back to the moment when a simple act of recycling changed the course of a community environmental impact. Lastly, rhetorical question. Pause a question that sparks curiosity. For example, have you ever wondered how small changes in our habits can lead to significant positive impacts on the world around us? Ending of speech. Conclude your speech with a strong and memorable closing. Consider using first summary. Briefly recap the main points of your speech. Remind the audience of the needs, the solution, and the positive outcomes. Example, in summary, by embracing recycling, we not only protect our environment, but also create a sustainable legacy for our future generations. Next is call to action. Reinforce your call to action, clearly stating what you want the audience to do. Now, let's commit to making a difference. Crafting a compelling beginning and ending ensures your speech is both attention-grabbing and leaves a lasting impact on your audience. The types of speech introduction. There are several types of speech introductions that you can use to capture your audience's attention. Here are some common ones. First, quote or quotation. Start with a powerful or thought-provoking quote related to your topic. Second, Anecdote or storytelling. Share a brief, relevant story or, or anecdote that sets the tone of your speech. Third, rhetorical question. Pose a question that encourages the audience to think, creating engagement. Fourth, startling statistic or fact. Begin with a surprising or shocking statistic to grab attention. Humorous opening. Use humor to lighten the mood and connect with your audience. Historical reference. Provide a brief historical context or reference that ties into your speech. Personal connection. Share a personal experience or connection to the topic to make it relatable. Contrast or justification. Highlight a stark contrast or unexpected pairing to intrigue your audience. Current event or news hook. Relate your topic to a recent news event to make it timely and relevant. Next, provocative statement. Make a bold or controversial statement to pique interest. Choose an introduction that aligns your speech, tone, and propose ensuring it grabs attention and sets the stage for the rest of your presentation. Now let's proceed to the types of speech conclusion. A while ago, we tackled about the types of speech introduction. Now let's proceed to the types of speech conclusion. Various types of speech conclusion can effectively wrap up your presentation. Here are some common types. First is summary conclusion. Summarize the main points of your speech to reinforce key messages. Next, call to action. Encourage your audience to take specific action related to your topic. Next, closing statement or remark. End with a memorable statement that leaves a lasting impression. Next, quote or inspirational quotes. Include with a relevant and impactful quote to resonate with your audience. Next, question or challenge. Pause a thought-provoking question or challenge to simulate further thinking. Next, further outlook. Discuss the potential further developments of your implication of your topic. Next is thank you and appreciation. Express gratitude to your audience for their time and attention. Closing story or anecdote. Book and your speech by referencing or completing a story or anecdote you introduced earlier. Next, circle back to the introduction. Refer back to something mentioned in your introduction to create a sense of closure. Emotional appeal. Evoke emotional in your audience, leaving them with a strong emotional connection to your message. 
choose a conclusion that aligns with the overall tone and goal of your speech, leaving a lasting impact on your audience. Those are the types and steps a speaker should follow in order to have a better and impactful message. Those encourages the listener to have improvements into their life choices. That's all. Thank you.